production analysis and the topic is budget line again we can have the budget line similar to our consumption analysis in consumer analysis we have already drawn the line that was giving the maximum capacity of the consumer that he can have what the total limit to him to purchase the two set of a consumption bundle likewise if we explain here in the slide that the price of good one multiply by its amount plus price of good two multiply by its amount is equal to or less than the income of the consumer so in a similar manner now if the producer is going to purchase labor and the capital from the market along with their respective prices because he cannot influence the prices of capital and labor if he is a normal producer I mean he is not a oligopolist or something or monopolist type this so when it will be that then now the just like consumer the producer will exhaust its total budget on the purchase of these two inputs so now coming to this this was our original budget line in the form of the consumption and i have shown again here it the if x1 is equal to one input and x2 is also equal to the other input then it means we can exhibit the same budget line for a producer who is going to produce any amount of the output and utilizing the two factors of production x1 and the x2 and when we replicate the same analysis in this manner that the producer has to utilize here the labor and here the capital means he has to utilize these two factors of production for the production of any output q or y this amount of the labor it will be just equal to the total cost or the total budget available to the producer divided by its respective price and this k it will be equal to again cost and divide by its respective price and here again the slope of this budget line it will be equal to minus the prices of p1 here and this price will be labor and by l so if we have to calculate that how we are going to derive this we can just have that it is equal to the price ratio of this uh, the perpendicular and we can have this c by r mean the per, this part of the vertical axis divided by c by w and when c by r we can have the slope like this so the slope of this budget line is now coming to this point now if we have to calculate by the same manner that what will be the amount of one input that the consumer has to purchase and likewise if the producer who is going to produce with the utilization of the x1 and x2 then it will by rearranging the previous equation it will give us this value and if we explain in another manner that we were having with this that c was equal to wl plus rk and if we have to check that what will be the value of this rk we will have c minus wl and from there if we want to calculate that what will be the amount of the capital that will be required by the producer so we can have this c divided by r minus w divided by r into l so again the same thing that is expressed in this manner so we can draw that by this formula we can have that what will be the amount of one factor that the producer needs to produce in just order to satisfy the condition of his given budget line thank you